Oliver is walking in the rain. Suddenly, he sees a woman without an umbrella or hat. But she's not getting wet at all. How is this possible? The woman is walking inside a covered area, such as a covered sidewalk. Four friends go hiking and take a picture by the lake. Can you spot anything weird? This guy doesn't have any reflection in the water. Sarah checks into a fancy hotel. She feels very hungry, but unfortunately Sarah missed the dinner hours. That's why she calls room service and orders a vegan dinner set. Fifteen minutes later, someone knocks on her door. She looks through the peephole first. Sarah. Oh great, a fake waitress! How did she know? The waitress is fake because she didn't know that Sarah ordered a vegan meal. Kelly and Kim start a quarrel on the plane. It's Kim's private jet, so she wants everything to be her way. But Kelly gets mad at her. She runs up to the exit door, opens it and jumps out. It happens so fast that the crew don't have time to do anything. Kelly doesn't have a parachute. She breaks her leg but survives. How come? The plane had already landed. Nick is driving down the road and his car runs out of gas. He sees a cabin in the woods and decides to ask for help. When he gets there, he finds three people inside. They offer to help him, but only if he agrees to stay there forever. Why? Nick stumbled upon a group of runaway criminals. They're afraid that he would tell others about their location. Early in the morning, Detective Robinson receives a call from his neighbor, Ethan. Ethan. Please, come as soon as possible. Someone attacked my wife. Robinson arrives at Ethan's house and sees this scene. Can you guess what happened to his wife? Take a look at the calendar on the wall. They pranked the detective because it was April 1st. The city has been taken over by zombies. Let's take a look at this group. Only one of these zombies is a male. Can you guess who? The first zombie is wearing a bra, and the second one has a badge with a female picture and name. Therefore, only the third zombie is a male. Tom works in a secret agency specializing in people with psychic abilities. He's having an interview with three people claiming to be superheroes. But only one of them really possesses some supernatural powers. Can you help him spot this person? Take a look at the third lady. She's holding her phone with the power of her mind without even touching it. Stella and Bella go on vacation. They take two pictures on the beach. Can you spot 10 differences between them? You can pause the video if you need additional time. Ready to see all the 10 differences? Here they are. Steve arrives at work and turns on the corporate laptop. Oh no, someone has changed the password. Steve looks around and finds a sticker with a clue. 32, 18, and 29. He enters the number, but it doesn't work. Can you help him crack the code? Steve should literally enter three twos, one eight, and two nines through underscores. 222, 8, 99. Gabriel is an art teacher. He enters the studio to check his students' work. One of these people is a ghost. Can you guess who? It's the model. She's posing for a portrait, but everyone sees through her. 
Dan wakes up in a creepy cage. He needs to figure out a five-number code to escape. He only has this picture as a clue. Can you help Dan crack the code? To solve this mystery, we need to count the number of legs that each object in this picture has. The human has two legs, the fish has zero, the ladybug has six, the dog has four, and finally the spider has eight legs. So the correct code is 20648. Alex went hiking and got lost in the woods. The sun had already set when he finally found a road. Three drivers stop and offer him a ride to the nearest village. Can you help Alex choose the safest option? There's a zombie arm sticking out of the second car's trunk, and the third driver has suspicious pointy ears and shiny eyes, so he's probably a werewolf. Therefore, Alex should probably trust the first driver. I'm very easy to lift, but very hard to throw. What am I? I'm a feather. Kim downloads a dating app hoping to find her true love. She likes these three men equally. They begin to chat and the guys send her some selfies. Each man claims to be single. But in fact, only one of them doesn't have a girlfriend. Can you guess who? Brian sent Kim a cute bathroom selfie. But take a closer look at his shelf. He has one male razor and another pink razor, which probably belongs to his girlfriend. So goodbye, Brian. Meanwhile, Kyle took a selfie in his bedroom. Luckily, he left the closet open so we could see his girlfriend's clothes and shoes. So only Harry is a single person, and Kim should give him a chance. Jenny goes for a walk to her favorite park, Suddenly, she gets attacked by a crowd of zombies. Jenny gets terrified and begins to run away. There are three possible routes in front of her, but only one of them will actually take Jenny to a shelter. Can you help her escape? Jenny should choose Route C. Ethan owns a successful flower shop, but today he's very upset. Someone has stolen all the red roses from the storage room. Ethan questions three suspects among his staff. Leah, the chief florist, says, I spent the whole day creating bouquets with pink lilies for a wedding ceremony. Donna, the manager, says, I don't know who stole the roses. I didn't even enter the storage room today. I was consulting our clients all day long. And finally, Mike, the florist assistant, says, Fresh red roses were delivered early in the morning. I brought them to the storage room and I've never entered it again. Who's lying? Leah. There are no pink lilies in the bouquets that she made. Lauren changes a six number password on the office door to avoid thefts. She leaves this little clue for all her colleagues. Bagel. Can you guess the correct code? To solve this mystery, we should calculate the number of each given letter in the alphabet. B implies 2, A implies 1, G7, and so on. So the final password is 217512. Helen meets a handsome guy at a supermarket. She falls in love at first sight. His name is Robert, and he came here with his sister. Can you guess which one of these ladies is his sister? It's the third woman. She's the only one who's shopping without a separate cart or basket because Robert carries it. The police officer is chasing Kendra who had just robbed a jewelry store. The teenager sneaks into the nearest school and the officer follows her. She notices Kendra's hoodie by one of the doors and enters the classroom. There she sees four students who look like Kendra. Can you decide who's the real robber?
This one is Kendra. She has neither books nor pens on her desk. Let's go ahead and take a look at these two pictures. Can you spot 10 differences between them? Ready to see the solution? Here are the 10 differences. It's a Sunday afternoon. Most people are spending it at the local shopping mall. Nothing usually happens here. But suddenly a man snatches a woman's bag and runs away. The woman calls a security guard and yells, Don't just stand here! Go after him! But the thief has already disappeared into the crowd. Can you help the guard find the thief? He's over here. Sam gets promoted and throws a fancy party for his best friends. Josh, Kate, Brad, Bill, and Holly. Everything goes great. But the next morning, Sam finds out that someone broke into his safe and stole his family treasure, a golden egg. Sam questions his friends, but each swears to have nothing to do with the theft. The police officer looks through the pictures that Sam took yesterday. After comparing these two shots, he spots the thief. What about you? Yesterday, Holly was wearing a classy hat. In the first picture, the hat is pressed close to her head. And on the second one, the very same hat is much taller. That's because she hid the golden egg inside it. Violet returns from a business trip. She enters her office and sees a beautiful gift basket on her table. There's a love note from a secret admirer attached to the package. Violet gets very curious. She figures out three suspects and asks them just one question. Did you send me the gift basket? Liam replies, Nope, I would have sent you sunflowers instead. I know you love them. Jason says, I overslept today and I've just arrived at the office, so... I wouldn't have had time to prepare a surprise for you. And Kenny says, I didn't send the basket. But when I entered your room in the morning to put some documents on your desk, the basket was already there. Who's the secret admirer? The love note is written on a pink sticker. Kenny has similar sticker notes in his workspace. And his handwriting is very similar to the love note. Busted. Tyler receives a message from his new girlfriend, Kitty. She invites him over for dinner. Tyler has never been to her house yet. He takes his scooter and hits the road right away. But unfortunately, he gets lost on the way. His navigator breaks down and shows him three confusing routes. Can you guess what route leads to Kitty's house? Tyler should take the first route. Alex is heading to a family dinner, but he's really broke and he only has eight chocolates. He needs to divide them equally between his three sisters. How many cookies would each sister get? Zero. Alex has chocolates, not cookies. Nellie's father has five daughters. The name of the eldest daughter is April, the second daughter is May, the third one is June, and the fourth daughter's name is July. Can you guess the name of his fifth daughter? Nellie. A gardening fair takes place in a village. The top five local gardeners show their best flowers, but one of them brought fake plants to prank the villagers. Can you spot the fake? Bumblebees fly around all the plants except for the fourth flower pot. Insects don't get attracted to these roses because they are artificial. Dylan is exploring a remote forest area. Soon he gets lost and has no idea where to go. Luckily he comes across a small cabin in the woods and sees a forester. Dylan. Hello, could you please tell me how I can get to the railway station? Forester. 
Go down this trail until you reach a crossroads. There, you'll see a rock with signboards. Just remember, the left one lies, and the right one tells the truth. Dylan follows his advice, and soon finds the rock. Can you guess which way he should go to reach the station? Since the left sign is lying, and the right one is the truth, Dylan should walk straight ahead. Claire puts on a classy white suit and goes for a walk. Suddenly a big dog pops out of nowhere and jumps on her. The dog stains Claire's outfit with dirty paws. She gets furious and yells, Whose dog is this? Can you spot the owner of this animal? It's the second lady. She's wearing the same collar as her dog. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Are you ready for a new detective journey? Then buckle your seatbelts and let's go. Mary was walking through the park when she spotted a hungry kitten. The woman decided to share her snack with the animal. Unfortunately, there was a stream between her and the kitty. She squatted down to attract the cat's attention and showed it the food. The animal was next to her in no time. There was no bridge over the stream and still, the cat wasn't wet. How is it possible? It happened in the winter and the stream was frozen. In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long will it take for the patch to cover half the lake? The patch doubles in size every day. So on the 47th day, the patch will be half the size it is on the 48th day. You are in a place called Bobby's World, and there is only one law there. There is a mirror, but no reflection. There is pizza with cheese, but not with ham. There is pepper, but no salt. There is a door, yet no entrance or exit. What is the law in this strange world? Everything in Bobby's world must contain double letters in its name. Kenneth was hungry. Oh my God. He found a nice diner that served burgers and bought one. After a waiter brought him his order, Kenneth went to the bathroom to wash his hands. But when he came back, his burger was gone. The guy looked around the diner and understood who had taken his lunch. Can you figure it out? It's the young woman with a dog sitting at her feet and sniffing the air. If she was just drinking coffee, which is what she's pretending to do, the dog wouldn't be so interested in her. Look at these two guys. One is big and burly, and the other is short and thin. They're in a cafe, drinking identical drinks. The shorter one gulps his drink down in one go and leaves. The other man sips his drink slowly. Then he falls to the floor and is taken to a hospital. Can you explain why it happened if they had the same drinks? The drinks contained poisoned ice cubes. The man who enjoyed his drink gave these ice cubes time to melt and release the poison, while the other man didn't. An Arab sheikh told his two sons that they had to race their camels to a distant city to see who would inherit his fortune. The one whose camel arrived last would win. After wandering aimlessly for days, the brothers asked a wise man for advice. After listening to his opinion, they jumped on the camels and raced as fast as they could to their destination. What did the man tell them? The wise man told them to switch their camels. Look at these two guys. They're wearing similar clothes, yeah. both holding coffee cups, mm. and in general, seem to be perfectly okay. But one of them is a werewolf in disguise. Which one? Look at the guy on the right. There are strange marks on the rim of his cup. 
Were they left by his fangs? Also, his pupils are a bit elongated. Oh. And there is a paw print design on the plastic bag he's holding. Is it a special store for werewolves? A rich entrepreneur disappeared from his office. Oh the only thing he left behind was a note with the numbers 6, 4, 9, 10, and 11, and a calendar. The police have five suspects, all of them the businessman's acquaintances, James, Kevin, Carol, Jason, and Laura. Who knows something about the man's disappearance? Oh. Jason. The numbers mean months of the year, and the first letters of these months make up his name, J-A-S-O-N. A furious traveler at the airport claimed the contents of his baggage had disappeared. When I got my suitcase, it was empty. I want you to compensate for what I've lost. After checking the passenger's info, airport security found out that he had indeed left London with a heavy suitcase, and now his bag was empty and a bit wet. The whole situation was suspicious. Can you figure out what happened? The passenger left London with a suitcase full of ice. During the flight, the ice melted, and the man demanded compensation for the lost belongings. Matthew bought a new smartphone and a phone case. He paid $510. The gadget cost $500 more than the case. How much did Matthew pay for the phone? He paid $505. Last night, on a full moon, several people disappeared in the city. Locals believe that the kidnapper was a werewolf, and you are invited to investigate this case. There are three suspects, Jack, Levi, and Luke, but all of them have alibis. Jack was walking with his girlfriend near the river. Levi was choosing a silver ring for himself in the mall. And Luke, who is a museum guard, had a night shift at work. Which guy is guilty? Jack was walking under a full moon and didn't turn into a werewolf. Levi wasn't afraid to put on silver rings. The werewolf and potential kidnapper is Luke. Detective Black's assistant, Josh, was late for work. Oh. When he arrived, he told his boss the following story. I was driving along the highway when I saw an unconscious man lying on the left side of the road. I picked him up and took him to the nearest hospital. Finally, he came to his senses. He told me he had been pushed out of a moving vehicle but the bag with all his money and documents was left inside. Strangely, Detective Black told Josh that the man had lied to him. How did he figure it out? If the man had indeed been pushed out of the car, he would have been lying on the right side of the road, not the left one. Criminals caught three men and locked them in a basement with only one window high above the floor. Oh, no. The men decided that at least one of them needed to escape and warn the police. The men stood on each other's shoulders, but the one on the top still couldn't reach the window. But then they did something, and one of them managed to escape. Can you figure out what they did? tallest of them climbed on the top. And since, proportionally, this man also had longer arms, he managed to reach the window. You find yourself in a room with no windows. There are three doors leading out of the room. Suddenly, a big screen on the wall lights up. You read, Behind each of these doors, there is some danger. The first door leads to a scorching hot desert. Several steps, and the sun will burn you. Behind the second door, there is a hungry alligator that hasn't eaten for a year. And the third door hides a pool with icy water. To get to freedom, you'll have to swim across it. Which door should you choose to survive? Alligators can indeed go without food for up to three years, which means that the creature behind the second door is hungry and dangerous. Freezing water can cause cold shock in an unprepared swimmer. That's why you should choose the first door. You just need to wait for the sun to go down and walk through the desert. Oh, yes. James came to a cafe to drink coffee. Mm. But when a waitress brought him a cup, the man found a fly in his drink. 
He called the waitress and told her to bring him another coffee. She did, but when James took a sip from his cup, he got really angry and asked to call a manager. He complained that the waitress had brought him the same coffee. How did he understand it? The new coffee was already sweet because James had already put sugar in his first cup before finding the fly. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Since AI is taking over the world, what is the best way to take advantage of this than to have some fun? I asked an AI what our most beloved cartoon characters would look like if they were human, and I got some pretty impressive pictures. So how about we play a game? I'll be showing you AI drawings, and you'll have to tell me what cartoon character that is, okay? For this first round, I chose the easiest characters. But just because they seem obvious to me doesn't mean they'll be obvious to you, too. You have seven seconds to guess who's who, like this girl. Can you tell which cartoon character she is? Backpack, backpack. It's Dora the Explorer, of course. What about this one? Let's check. Red hair, beach background. It's gotta be Ariel from Disney's Little Mermaid. You just gotta love that movie. And who might that be? Here are some hints. She lives on an island, and she loves water more than she should. It's Moana! I think I might know her. Ah, I almost didn't recognize her without her wings. It's Tinkerbell. I've just watched the live action for this animated movie and I love it. In case you haven't figured it out by the outfit he's wearing, it's Aladdin. I know he's part of a family. Ah, it's Peter Griffin from Family Guy. What about this good-looking dude? I would never guess. But he's John Smith from Pocahontas! And who might this be? I knew it had to be Bart Simpson. Here's a riddle for you. She sings to birds and she has seven best friends. I forgot to say her skin is white as snow. It's Snow White. I have to say these pictures of cartoon characters are almost creepy. They look so real. But moving on, can you guess who this is? I'll give you some hints. Her family speaks Spanish, and they have a magical house. It's Isabella Madrigal. Did you know that Idina Menzel is the voice of this character? It's Elsa. What do you say? Feeling like building a snowman anytime soon? Hmm. This one is tricky. I can tell you she's a villain in a Disney movie. Will that help? It's Lady Tremaine. She's Cinderella's evil stepmother. Okay, let's make this a little bit trickier. You have seven seconds to figure out the next bunch of characters. This guy looks like a crazy scientist. And that's because he is. This is what Rick from Rick and Morty would look like if he was a real person. Oh, 
I love this cartoon. Can you guess who this guy is? It's Fred from Scooby Dooby Doo. Hmm. And who might this be? Who remembers Kim Possible? This is her! Oh, a dog. Let's see, it isn't a Dalmatian. So what other famous cartoon dogs do we know and love? Ah, uh, it's Scooby. Of course. Is this a member of the Crudes family? It could be... But no, it's Fred Flintstone. Millennials would know this. And who's this? I wouldn't have guessed, but it's Charlie Brown from Snoopy. All I can say is that she has a funny name. It's olive oil from Popeye. Is everybody eating their spinach? This dude looks like a cast member of Captain Fantastic. But he's Peter Pan. I'm pretty sure I know this guy. Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Tell me something. Can you sing with all the colors of the wind? You bet this is Pocahontas. And what about this guy? It's Eric from The Little Mermaid. Oh, wait, what's this picture of Ryan Gosling as Ken doing here? Sorry, y'all. This is not AI-generated art. It's just art. Moving on, can you tell who this redhead is? It's not Ariel, so it must be Merida, the main character from Brave. Oh, what's this cute baby doing here? It's Maggie Simpson. Hmm, this person looks like a mixture of Britney Spears and Reese Witherspoon. Who could she be? It's Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. This is what he would look like if he was human. Here's a hint for you. This character lives on Pandora. It's Nate Thierry from the Avatar movie. This girl has a pet cricket. It's Mulan, of course. What about this guy wearing a bandana? I know. Hercules. I almost didn't recognize him without Pegasus, his flying horse. She's pretty, or should I say, she's Belle? Yep, it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Hmm, who could this guy be? Tarzan? Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. He looks so urban. 
Who's this guy with a pink beard? Although he looks like some quirky chef, he's supposed to be Patrick, from the Spongebob cartoon. And what about this woman that looks like a fairy? This one's difficult. She's Joy from the Inside Out cartoon. I feel like I know this guy. But how could I? He's Winnie the Pooh if Winnie the Pooh was human and not a bear. I think this is another animal character that was turned into a human, right? Yep, it's Garfield. And what about this sailor? It's supposed to be Donald Duck's human form. I have to say, I hope they make live actions of these cartoons. I would definitely watch that. Ah, a grandpa. Which movie is he from? It's Fred from the movie Up. I don't recognize this girl. Can you guess who she is? Ah, she's a minion. If minions were human, that's cute and creepy at the same time. What about this little dude? I'll give you a hint. He's a Disney character, and he loves to eat cheese. It's the human version of Mickey Mouse. And this guy? His best friends are a meerkat and a warthog. This is supposed to be Simba, Hakuna Matata, my friends. Hmm, what can I say about this character? She's very elastic. It's Helen Parr, the elastic woman from The Incredibles. Remember her? I think this is my favorite one yet. She won't even remember your name a few seconds after she meets you. Oh, and she speaks whale. It's Dory from the animated film Finding Nemo. We're moving on to the next round, so the rules are changing a little bit. I'll make it more difficult for you to guess who the character is. I'm going to show an object that belongs to a cartoon character, and you'll have to guess which cartoon it is. Got it? Who does this trident belong to? Ah, this one's too easy. It belongs to King Triton, Ariel's father. This looks more complicated. A blue cape with gold embroidery. It can only belong to the Beast, right? From Beauty and the Beast. It's his outfit when he dances with Belle in that epic scene. Who could this glass slipper belong to? It's Cinderella's, of course. A blue necklace? It's from Pocahontas, but only Disney's biggest fans would know that. A tambourine? Who plays a tambourine? This is a difficult one. It's Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. This hat looks like it belongs to a pirate, doesn't it? That's because it does belong to Captain Hook from Peter Pan. 
A chef's hat. But why is it so tiny? Oh, because it belongs to Remy from Ratatouille, right? Who carries a bow and arrow nowadays? I guess not a lot of people, but Merida did. Does this game make you want to rewatch all your favorite animated movies? I've always wanted a scooter, but who does this one belong to? Ah, Luca, Sierto! I remember this hat. Uh, I think Joe from the Soul movie used it, right? Mr. Potato Head? Well, I don't think he belongs to any specific character. But he's from the Toy Story franchise, right? This stick looks pretty important. And prehistoric. Who does it belong to? It's Grands. From the Croods movie. You gotta love her. Good job to anyone who's got most of these last questions right. They were pretty difficult. Now, for this next round, how about we play a little bit with our AI generating tools? What would famous people and characters look like if they lived in different epics? Let's have a look. Who do you think this is? We all love Spider-Man's vibe, but this is what he would look like if he lived in the Victorian era, circa 1800. He would still have his red mask, of course, but even superheroes had to be formal back then. That's why he's wearing a vest with precious looking gold buttons. And not to mention this Spider-Man has a cape, those long tailored capes men used to wear. Can you tell which superhero this is? It's Doctor Strange, but we've tweaked him a little bit. You see, Doctor Strange already looks like he's from another time period, right? So we made him look like a modern superhero doctor. History is created by real-life superheroes. They don't have any magic powers, but they certainly do some magic in their time. Can you guess who this is supposed to be? It's Einstein. If he had been born in the 1500s, of course, then his hair would have been slicker and probably parted in the middle. We'd have seen him with a puffed chest and a neutral expression. And most importantly, he would have been wearing these funny aristocrat shoes with delicate lace. Can you figure out who this dude is? It's Beethoven. If Beethoven had been an adult in the early 2000s, and I think he would have looked like a member of the Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. Definitely no crazy hair since he would have been rocking a buzz cut. Honestly, I think I love this version of him. And what about this person? Could it be Van Gogh? Yup. Expect that this is probably what he would have looked like if he had been a member of Gen Z. I'll only say that her name is the same as the name of a day of the week. It'd have been Wednesday Adams if she had been born in Florida in the early 2000s. Her hair would have been much lighter in color. And in this multiverse, she wouldn't have been allergic to color. That's impossible if you live in the Sunshine State. I'm bringing some A-listers to our game. Can you guess who this celebrity is? It's Miss Gomez. I mean, Selena Gomez. If she had been born in the 1920s, I think she would have been pictured wearing a beautiful polka dot dress with a short hairdo and a cloche hat. What about this guy?
the one and only Brad Pitt. But if he had lived in ancient Egypt, I have to say, these pastel tunics are a great fit for him. Oh, and we saw him in Troy. He sure can sport a sandal. Let's jump to the future. Our AI has generated what some celebrities would look like 40 years from now. Can you tell who this is? It's Harry Styles if he was 70 years old. I'd say a mix of an aged Jim Carrey with Daniel Craig, maybe. And who might this be? I think the hair has given it away. It's Billie Eilish, with natural gray hair. She looks like Tilda Swinton in Narnia. Gorgeous, if you ask me. Oh, and look who's back here. It's the aged version of Ryan Gosling, not by mistake this time. This is it for our AI fun, you lot. I hope you guessed most of these right. See you next time. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.